Man be man is back. Oh, okay, Jay, 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 Oh my gosh, the man got messed up. This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3 week. My album comes out next week. I have the leopard. Oh, look at that, my God. This is your point. Oh, why, right, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the True and Fun L. <laughs> Back at it with another Pokemon Unite commentary video gameplay for you guys. And, well, it finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. Congress have approved that TikTok is to be banned in the United States. And last week, Wednesday, Biden signed the legislation into law. So, you're probably thinking, up oh, TikTok is banned. When will I see it get removed from my phone? That's not how it works. So, what normally happens is this. When a app is banned, that means that it is removed from the Google Play Store, it's removed from the Samsung Store, it's removed from the Apple Store, meaning that nobody could download it. Or in, if you have to redownload it, you can't redownload it because they removed it for the store. Now, if you already have the app, you can stay on there, but you won't get like updates and patches and things of that nature. And you would be at risk of somebody hacking your TikTok account, your TikTok app rather, because you have an old outdated app and there's already workarounds to getting in to TikTok's accounts and things of that nature. So without a patch, without updates, you're wide right open to be hacked. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. However, even with the ban, what I would suggest is y'all probably invest in a VPN. So with a VPN, you can actually disguise your IP to basically to be appear in anywhere around the world. So you can disguise the IP on your phone to a country that is like safe, secure, and have allowed TikTok. So yeah. You can roll with that. But we don't have to worry about a ban right away. Now, you're probably wondering, why is that? What's going on here? So here's what's going on. Like I said in the last video where I talked about this. So basically, now that this was signed last week, basically TikTok's owner, the company that owns TikTok, which is ByteDance, have nine months to sell the company to a U.S. suitor or it would be banned in the United States. Now, there's three things that could like prevent that from happening in terms of TikTok being banned in like nine days. But before I get to that, let me look at this NBC News article that's online. So let's talk about this real quick. TikTok's fate in the U.S. had never been more in doubt after Congress approved a bill that gives it parent company two options. Sell it to an improved, an improved buyer or see it banned. And also, what's that dude's name? Uh, Bobby Kotick, I think that's his name. There's word that he is expressing interest in buying TikTok. And oh my God, I hope he does not do that. I really, really hope he does not do that. In case y'all don't know who Bobby Kotick is, yeah, that's his name. He's the guy that was behind the whole um, uh, sexual mistreatment of women when he was running Activision, when he was the CEO before Microsoft bought it and basically kicked them out. So... Yeah, there's that. But let's move on. So Biden signed the legislation into law this past Wednesday, but it could take years for the ban to actually go into effect since the Chinese-owned parent company, ByteDance, is likely to challenge the statute in court, which is something that I also brought up in, in that last video I talked about this. And even if it survives a legal challenge, no one is quite sure what would happen next. So let's talk about this. How soon could a potential ban take effect? It would probably be several years from now. Yes, you heard me right. Not several months, but several years. So let's check this out. According to the statute's language, ByteDance will have nine months to devise and find an American buyer for TikTok once the bill is signed into law, which happened, I believe that was last week, Wednesday, which is said in the um, article. On top of that, the president can push back the deadline by an additional 90 days, aka three months. That means without a sale, TikTok could shut down in the United States will be more than one year from now. But it's more complicated than that. If Biden then sues to block the implementation of the statute, which it has said it would do, and I did say that in the uh, last video I talked about this, 
The bill will be taken up by the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, according to Isaac Botansky, Director of Policy for the Financial Services Firm BTIG. Basically, Isaac said that ByteDance will file the suit no later than this fall, and while the case is under judicial review, the clock on any ban is effectively paused. So right off the bat, yeah, there you go. Moving on. Once the D.C. court issues its ruling, whichever side loses is likely to request a review by the U.S. Supreme Court. That will forestall the ban by another year, meaning nothing will go into effect until 2026, according to Isaac. TikTok will argue that the ban is un uh, unconstitutional and that it's also taking steps to protect American users' data. The app has already launched an aggressive lobbying campaign featuring a number of small business owners, owners and influencers who say it's their lifeblood. And here we got some quotes right here, but uh, yeah, let's move on. What about finding a buyer? The bill stipulates that TikTok can continue to operate in the U.S. if Byte then sells the app to a U.S. upfront firm, which to me is interesting because TikTok isn't a U.S. only app. That is a worldwide app. It's not like ByteDance is a company that's made this app specifically for the U U.S. If that was the case, then I'd be like, yeah, it makes more sense for a U.S. company to run an app that is more suited towards the United States. But that's not what TikTok is. TikTok is a worldwide app. So to say, oh, Americans need to monetize it, that's kind of arrogant and kind of petty. Not petty, but like standoffish. But yeah, let's move on. While large U.S. tech companies would love to get their hands on the platform, Isaac said that Biden administration regulators, not to mention GOP critics of big tech firms, have no interest in expanding the power, reaching, reach, or influence of such companies. Some other outside groups might emerge. At least one led by Steve Munchen, who was Treasury Secretary in the Trump administration, has already sought to make a bid, telling CNBC in March that he was putting together an investor group. Okay, that'd be cool. The Wall Street Journal has also reported that, see, here it is right here, that former Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick was looking for potential buyer partners. And I, again, I hope he don't get it. While ByteDance, which owns other companies, is worth hundreds of billions of dollars, TikTok would fetch less than that, experts say, especially if it is sold without its powerful recommendation algorithm. But Isaac believes ByteDance is unlikely to agree to any kind of sale. The Chinese government has said as much, arguing that it regards the algorithm as a national security asset. And without that, TikTok beca becomes much less appealing, appealing rather, to potential buyers. So, which brings up the question, is TikTok going away in the U.S.? But, you know, it might, but ultimately, it, the impact may be limited. And then they talk about, like, uh, other companies, like, or other um, social media platforms is this. So, we're going to ignore that. Now, let's talk about this. Why did lawmakers feel they needed to take this drastic step? I just said many polit uh, political pundits remain surprised that the bill got over the finish line. But a rave of anxiety about both Chinese influence and the impact of social media on youth converged to get it passed. Here's a quote from Isaac. This has been noteworthy. Everyone is so conditioned to D.C. doing nothing or the bare minimum to keep the lights on. End quote. As tension with Beijing has grown, congressional lawmakers, along with top law enforcement officials, uh, officials have warned that TikTok is controlled by the Chinese Communist Party and is a national security threat to the United States. And here's a quote from FBI Director Christopher Wray as he testified on Capitol Hill last year. It screams out with national security concerns, which is interesting. End quote, by the way. U.S. officials fear that the Chinese government is using TikTok to access data from and spying on its American users, spreading disinformation and conspiracy theories, which is not true in my opinion but whatever it feel like a TikTok ban was moving slowly then quickly what happened okay let's we can talk about that real quick the house passed its standalone TikTok bill on a big bipartisan vote in march but the senate appeared in no hurry to take up the measure as commerce chair maria cantrell d rods or I'm, I'm assuming that's a democratic from washington that is drafted her own legislation that all changed when Speaker Mike Johnson, a Republican from, I believe that's Louisiana, 
working with the White House, rolled out his $95 billion for an ad or a supplemental plan last week that includes billions of dollars for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Included in that sweeping aid package, the House TikTok bill, with some minor changes, Johnson pushed the package through his chambers, then sent the House on a recess, forcing the Senate to take it or leave it. Rather than further delay the critical Lone Star military and humanitarian ad aid, the Democratic controlled Senate is moving to quickly pass the package, including the TikTok bill and other Johnson priorities. So there you go with that. Now, here's and so but let's let's get all the stuff out the way in terms of like why a TikTok ban would not happen as soon as possible, or even within the next nine months, as Bike Dance have that time frame to sell it. Here's why. Number one, and we already talked about this. Bike Dance is going to take this to court. Like, I already said that in the last video when I talked about this. They are going to take this to court. So what will happen is that the time frame or the timetable for them to sell TikTok will instantly pause. And the court case like this could take a year or two years for it to be settled. And then whichever side wins, let's say Bite Dance loses, then they go ask for appeal, which is going to take about like another year or so. So there's going to be some time. And then, of course, that's going to pause the timetable. So there's some time here basically stalling the ban. So even though that's not, that's not what they're doing, they want to actually remove the ban and keep TikTok in America with them owning it. So... That's number one. Number two, they sell it. Now, we can rule that out immediately because they said that they're not going to sell it. And again, I reported that in the last video where I talked about this, and it's been reported here. They are not planning on selling this. Now, number three is something that is not really, wasn't really talked about in this article, but I'm going to bring it up. So again, the time frame here is they have nine months to sell the company. However... Nine months from now is January. Do y'all know what happens two months prior to January, ladies and gentlemen? See, here in America, we have a little thing called the presidential election. So, where all the people who support TikTok, like the small business owners, the influencers, and the youngins who are old enough to vote, but like TikTok, they may run across Biden's opponent who said, yo, if you vote for me, I would make sure TikTok don't get banned. And right, like that could be an automatic vote for the opponent, whoever that may be, with those who need TikTok and those who love TikTok. Like, yeah, it's that severe. It, it could be that severe. The only problem with that is the opponent. The opponent might be Donald Trump. And that will, and like... And this is right, like it, it's bad. It's really, really bad. This may be the, the case where we have to look at the independent party and say, Yo, <laughs> where are you standing with TikTok? Because we don't want Biden in the office anymore because Biden's trash. We don't want Trump in the office because he's an idiot. Where's your stance with TikTok? And if the independent party say, Yo, if you vote for whoever, if you vote for us, we're going to keep TikTok in the US. This may be the year where we vote for the independent party. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm like, I'm not trying to get into the political talk. That is not what this channel is about. This channel will never, di you know, dive into that. But when it comes to the TikTok thing, it's either vote for Biden's opponent, whoever that may be. And if it's happened to be Trump representing the Republican Party again, you may have to look and see who the independent party is and be like, yo, we may have to vote for you as soon as we know where you stand with TikTok. So. But bottom line is this. For people going, oh man, these signed TikTok ban. We're gonna lose TikTok immediately. We're gonna lose it in the next nine months. No, no, we no take again, relax. Relax. We're not gonna lose it within the year. We we we're just not. Because there's too much stuff at play, too much stuff that is in the way of that. So if you're worried about losing TikTok, it's not gonna happen. So you have, well, I ain't gonna say you have nothing to worry about, especially if you love TikTok or be a small business owner on TikTok. But at the same time, there's not much to worry about right now in regards to this old TikTok ban situation. So I'm gonna call it a wrap. And with all that said, y'all know this is this, this boy, New Jack Aspie, aka New Steve Nate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.